This is Mike. He's been waiting outside this church all day. So how long have you been waiting, Mike? Uh, five hours now. Yeah. Confused? You won't be after the next episode of Design Life. You know what today is? Today is a great day. And you know why I know it's a great day? Well, first of all, look at it. The leaves are changing color. We are up here in the country and we are about to do a mega makeover on this church. This is a 1906 Methodist church. It's been converted into living space and we are about to transform it with all sorts of beautiful, new, contemporary furniture. I'm just here waiting for our truck to pull in. And I'd say I'm having a much better day than the driver, because apparently, so far, the first driver was sick, which is why the truck didn't arrive at 8 o'clock. The second driver got a flat tire. All of this is super exciting. The only thing that's not so exciting is it's now 10 to 1. So we're uh, five hours behind on the start of this dramatic transformation makeover day. It's just sitting around waiting to unload. <laughs> we wait another five for you guys though. <laughs> Hopefully not. No. But hey, let's look at the leaves, shall we? Please enjoy some leaves and some fall music while we wait for our truck to pull in. Or we can take a quick look at the inside. You want to see? Yeah, let's see. Come on in. Let me show you around. Here's what we're going to tackle. This room is going to become a bedroom, a guest bedroom. It has these incredible gothic windows. It's got a high ceiling, quirky features, super fun. Over here, we're going to create a fabulous home office because you know what everybody needs in 2020? Uh, work from home space. This wall color is gonna change. Once we get the furniture in, we're gonna tweak it and decide what color exactly it should be. That's a TBD. And then here, watch yourself on the vacuum. You know I always keep my vacuum close at hand. Yes, tiptoe through the vacuum. This is the main space. This is the living area. Well, actually, this is going to be the dining area with some lounge space close to the fireplace and then a giant, gorgeous, window-filled sunroom, living room back here. We're just taking down the scaffolding because we just installed a George Nelson bubble light, one of my all-time faves, which is just going to glow like a contemporary moon with this backdrop of a super tall, gorgeous, historic window. Ready to have some fun? We are. Just still waiting for that truck. This is what you call a designer lunch. Aren't we fancy? <laughs> it's Really just another rough day at the office for Teddy. Mm -hmm. I think Teddy would like some of that sandwich. Mm -hmm. What's happening? Our delivery is going to be here in 10 minutes. And in the meantime, there you go, doing some painting. We've done some tree trimming. It's all part of our dramatic makeover. And let's hope it doesn't get dramatic any other way. Because I really, really want to see this furniture here, on site, and installed. But then, when the truck finally arrived... Here's a thought. Right now, I'm just saying a silent internal prayer that this truck is not full. I'm looking for maybe one quarter of this furniture. Can we not get any closer? There's no ramp. Do you see the distance from the tailgate to the ground and all the steps we have to go up? How on earth are we supposed to get everything off of that truck? Muscles, baby, muscles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do a workout. Now, here's the thing. This truck is parked outside 
And that means the Minister of Exteriors can spring into action. Mike to the rescue. Yeah, Mike to the rescue. Okay, so I think you probably want to know an update. Now it's 4.15, but fortunately, thanks to our local lumber mart, just a couple doors away, we were able to get a friend to help us out with a forklift to unload the truck. We now have to carry all of these boxes, unpack the boxes and set up. It's gonna be a long day. But I always say no two days are ever the same and you never know how it's gonna roll. It's gonna roll and it's gonna end with us all being very tired. But I think it's gonna look amazing. So you should come in and take a look. Think it's gonna look good, Nat? It's gonna look amazing, but first you need to help me lift this down. Okay, first I have to go help Natalie. Can't talk to you anymore. Gonna go help Natalie lift. Things are looking good. You probably don't think it looks very good right now. I know, this <laughs> is, you're probably thinking, this looks good. Okay, this doesn't look so good, but back here, trust me, this is gonna look a lot better tomorrow. Come back tomorrow. I'm gonna close the windows and lock the doors. And today is gonna be a busy one. We are starting off, the flower shop has just opened. I am gonna do the world's fastest race through here to grab flowers for our church shoot. And for this next step, mask on for flowers. Ooh, I need some of these little guys. Monstera, what do you think, wheat? Is this pampas grass? Oh, it's so fun. Okay, maybe a little, little dusting situation here. <laughs> Is this Jasmine? Hard to smell through my mask. Okay, I think I'm good to go, Ping. Okay, flowers check. Next stop, highway. Because we've got a photo shoot to finish. Here's how to get that. Casually. Left. Now we and Sarah do room service. It takes a lot of work to look casual. Right? All of these throws feel so nice. How far down is it on your side? It's pretty far. Maybe we want it tucked in on the side so we can see it. See, these are the things we think about on a photo shoot. Should we tuck in all the sheets? Do you want a tight look? Do you want it to look loose? You want it to look loose and casual, but you don't want it to look too schlumpy. You don't want it to look like you don't know how to make your bed. We worked really hard on these side rails. See, look at these gorgeous side rails. Please admire them. I think I need to tuck it in. I'm just super bad. I was like, you're just, well, we can't get too close. So Natalie's just gonna supervise me lifting a mattress. Good nice. Job. Very nice. Well How am I doing? It looks good to Give me a report card. We're doing this photo shoot to showcase my new furniture line. This is what you never see behind the camera for a photo shoot. In front of the camera, everything's beautiful. But back here, disaster. I'm gonna go this way, because I think you have to go first based on how we're on Sunday. Watch the flowers. Well, we'll have to see if we actually like the idea of the desk here. This is feeling like maybe it's going to be cramped. Be cramped. But maybe it's going to look amazing. Don't know. We don't know until we try. Look at that. Is that not incredible? My aunt took this photo. Great photo. Unfortunately, we don't have a hammer to put it up. This is why you need decorative objects. <laughs> Things that come in handy. How do you feel about that height? Placement. I like it. Well done. I can't believe how fast you can hang pictures and have them actually end up looking great. Sometimes it works, if sometimes it doesn't. These are just a few pieces. If you want to see the rest of the furniture line, you can check it out on the website. Okay. Okay. This is 
going to be the best one, I bet. <laughs> I think the lighting looks great. I think it's so nice to see the trees and everything outside on this sort of misty day. So, it does look misty. I'm great. Should we move on? Let's do it. That's a wrap on the portrait. We stuck around the church for a couple more hours and Valerie got some amazing photos of my new furniture collection. And tomorrow, it's on to another project because no two days are the same in my design life. So if you want to see more great videos, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.